The legacy of Alora's family possibly gone forever and neighbors throughout that community are now on high alert after a rash of thefts hits close to home. Samuel Shelton is live in Loris where he spoke with several residents and Samuel, what exactly are they missing now? Well, Eric, I'm told several neighbors throughout the Loris community are all missing trailers that were taken off of their property. And while these items can be replaced, one woman says some items inside cannot. I'm trying to just find my memories. Memories now possibly gone forever. Daniel Callahan lives along Highway 701 and says her 16 by 9 trailer was locked and tucked away on the side of her shed. But it vanished while she waited out Tropical Storm Adelia. Precious mementos are also gone. I lost my dad in 2015 and stuff from his childhood is in there. Um, and the biggest thing is there's a turnout jacket from when he worked as an EMT, the deputy director of EMS in New York City. A Horry County Police report shows the trailer's contents included an Icon XD riding lawnmower and memories spanning generations. Items Callahan says she can't ever replace. They were her family's legacy. I became an EMT at 15 just like him. I got my nursing license at 22. I'm back in nursing school to get my RN now because of it. So when I say that there's a lot attached to those items, it's not just an item that I remember my dad, it's my entire life story. Zach Hodgden lives just minutes away along Highway 348 and says he's also missing a trailer. To make matters worse, Hodgden says he relies on his now missing lawn equipment that was inside. He's now out thousands of dollars. I feel like the world's just messed up nowadays. You shouldn't have to lock everything up. You shouldn't have to worry about is that person going to mess with it? Is this person going to mess with it? City officials are now urging you not only to speak up if you know anything about these thefts, but to also find other ways to secure your valuables. You know, many people know their community well. If you see anything suspicious, that like people driving around or slowing down, you know, report it. Because that could be the person who's coming back later to, to take it. You know, um, but definitely chain them up and keep them locked up. Both residents tell me they've not only filed police reports, but also shared their missing items across social media. They want to now warn others throughout their community. The only thing you can do now is just hope and pray that somebody sees something. And it's more than just if they try to sell it. If they want to keep it for themselves, they get pulled over. The police officer can look at it. They can see that. They can match VIN numbers. They can match serial numbers. That's why I want to urge everybody to make those reports. Now, the Loris police chief suggests installing cameras along with finding other ways to secure those valuables. I'm live here in Loris, Samuel Shelton, WMBF News.